Are y'all like me and watch tons of videos before you even purchased your camper? I watched review videos, top five, top 10, top items under $50, top items under $10. So in this video, I'm going to do a review of the reviews. So things that I bought and don't like and do like and whether I'm going to use them or not. One of the first items that I purchased months before I got my camper was this cool little toaster that you can use on your propane stove. And Patrick on Travels with Delaney did a little review on this and I think it's under $5 or it might be $7, something like that. But sorry, Patrick, Womp, thumbs down. I don't like it. It takes a really long time to heat up to actually make toast and you can see what it did. I mean, I only have only had it a couple of months and it rusted so quickly. This is a thumbs down. Okay, another item that I saw on a review video was this scraper that is to be used in your iron skillet. And Mandy Lee did a video on her top kitchen items. And I got this little thing. It's supposed to scrape stuff and it's by Lodge. And actually, it's not too bad, I'll have to say. Good job, Mandy, with this one. This would be a thumbs up. Okay, another item by Mandy Lee is this Lunatec dishcloth. And it looks kind of ratty. It does stain a little bit, Mandy, <laughs> but it actually works really well. They're supposed to be, uh, I think, odor proof, and they are. They don't smell at all. And I might have put this through the dishwasher at the house. Um, but these are relatively inexpensive. I think they're $8 for a pair. I'll put a link to all these things uh, down below. But these are great. I have one in my home kitchen and the camper kitchen. And they really do well. You don't need a lot of soap and water. And I think they work great. Thumbs up with this one, Mandy. Another product that is not something that you buy, really, but it's more of a DIY. And this is, dun dun dun, 50% vinegar, 50% water shown by Randy's Adventure. Randy, this is awesome. I use it in everything. I clean all the surfaces. It really does a great job. Um, I don't like using, you know, any kind of bleach and stuff because I'm allergic to some of that stuff. It gives me a really bad headache. And I'll use some of the other wipes, but this stuff cleans everything you need. Thumbs up, Randy. Another product that I've seen a lot of people suggest is the Lucy Lights, and they come in different sizes, and they're kind of pricey. I think the small one is about $20, $25, but uh, they're totally solar powered and it's kind of hard, but you can see they have really neat light choices. Uh, let's see, one of the ones I use in the camper just as a nightlight kind of in the front for Gemma. I really like these. They're inflatable. They're actually waterproof. You can use them in a swimming pool. They are awesome. Thumbs up on the Lucy Light. Okay, another thing that people have suggested and this is something that will make your life so nice. And your camper is a memory foam mattress and, or, you know, cover. And I just got one from, I think it was Walmart. You can get them on, obviously, Amazon has them. I got the one that is, it's, a, it's kind of a bluish color. I think it was the three inch. Man, I'm telling you, I actually sleep better in the camper than I do on the bed at home. This thing, oh my gosh, it is wonderful. I mean, maybe it's just because I'm tired after hiking or camping or whatever during the day, but... It's not hot. Uh, I've slept in here, you know, in the summer. I mean, obviously I had the AC on. Definite thumbs up on the mattress. Okay, another thing that I cannot live without in my camper is the good old dust buster. <laughs> I love this thing. It is, this is just an inexpensive one. I think it was, I think this is under $30 for sure. But man, with dogs and even me, I'm noticing that I carry in more dirt than the dogs. And you'd be amazed how long the charge lasts. It's sturdy. It, you can't hurt this thing. I swear, I've banged it around everywhere. But just on the floor, which just see little junk like that, just, you know, during the day, it I get stuff everywhere. And I don't, I don't want this stuff grinding into the floor. Man, get a dust buster. Thumbs up on this one. Several people have suggested it. One last thing that lots of people suggest. This is probably, I mean, very obvious, but... This cheap shelf liner, this was a dollar. Man, I'm telling you what, that stuff is great. And it's not just, I mean, yes, I have stuff that comes tumbling down on me from the top part of my little shelves, but it keeps stuff from sliding around. And I'm gonna show you what else I do with it. Little pro tip, 
put it between your pots and your pans. So I've got this little pot. I've got my nice little pan. I just cut the extra strips that you have because you know it's not all going to fit on your shelves. So I put it in between things to keep it from rattling and you can set it down and if your lid doesn't fit correctly you know you can just turn your lid upside down put a piece in between that and it works great. I mean I use this at home too between dishes and then see I have it in here in the cabinet for things that don't so they don't move around. So that's it for the interior and I'll do another post with things that are on the exterior that I use and I like a lot. Talk to you later.